still at the computing conference in London 2017. Pedro Almacra Blanco is in the house. <laughs> One one of our experts here, and there are so many. You are from Spain, but you are at the University of Ecuador now, right? Yes. Computer science professor. Mm -hmm. What is going on there right now at your university? So at my university, we are teaching some stuff about artificial intelligence, but uh, you know, in Ecuador, artificial intelligence is not so present like here in Europe or in USA. It's not? It's not, but we are starting to work in it. We are starting to, to start uh, researching groups about artificial intelligence. We are starting some master science degrees mm. about artificial intelligence and it's a starting, but it's good promising because the uh, Ecuadorian students has a re have a really good uh, mathematics background. Oh, they do. In my opinion, maybe yeah. better than in Europe. So really? they are promising in this. Yeah. They are promising in this field. Okay, so good mathematics basics. Yeah. Okay. That's true. Yeah, and that's good to know. Maybe we have forget a little bit about mathematics here. <laughs> yeah. It's possible, it's, but maybe we've neglected that a bit. Yeah. But um, I what area of artificial intelligence do you research right now? Yeah, my speciality inside the artificial intelligence is machine learning. And more specific, inside machine learning, I work with multi-relational machine learning. That is methods that are able to learn from relational data, not just from tables, from graphs, from concepts and the interactions between the concepts. Yes, and what kind of concepts do you use? Uh, we are. I'm. I'm not a uh, applied scientific, so I not apply my research into any mm, real life problem. Mm -hmm. I just develop new methods in the in, a, in an abstract way, mm -hmm. and many people are using it in different areas. But I'm not. Uh, I, I'm not centered in in the real life application, just in the abstract models. Of okay, it. so not in real life application. But you told me that there was a lot of discussion going on about ethics. Yeah. True? That's okay. True. Well, well what, uh, what ethics talks do you have? No, what I mean is that uh, in artificial intelligence and, intelligence and more specific in machine learning, mm -hmm. uh, we are, we are looking, so we are uh, observing a uh, big, big changes because of that, because a new science is emerging. It's a science where the computers can construct their models of the reality sure. in an autonomous way. Mm -hmm. And this is quite dangerous. Not dangerous, it's dangerous as well, uh, like every other uh, scientific uh, hype or scientific uh, achievement. But what are specific dangers that you worry about? For example, is the control to the population when the m when the computers know how the people behaves is really easy for the powerful people to yeah, use it to to, it. to control the people. Of course, mm -hmm. I think that the government should take care about that and should uh, start can they, some. Can the government take care of all of the dangers of artificial of intelligence? Of course, if, if the government can take care about weapons or about another things, of course they they can or they should take care about this kind of uh, technologies. Because it's, it's like all technologies, if it's in the right hands, can be very good, but exactly. normally it's not in the right hand because the people who has the money normally And you think that governments right. are always the right hands? Oof, I hope. <laughs> I, yeah, we do. We, I, do I, we do hope that. I think th just we should think about that. Don't, don't take away, don't forget about it, because I think it's a very important thing for the future and for our sons and the, the people who will come. Mm -hmm. And I think we should at least think about that a little bit more than we of are Of course. Doing. Yeah, people are talking about that a lot. So what did you do last week? What was your latest work? Uh, my last week I was presenting my PhD thesis in Sevilla, mm -hmm. so it was a busy week and yeah. now I'm celebrating. <laughs> <laughs> so what was the response to your thesis? was wonderful. Yeah. I, what I they had say? The, the best uh, qualification. Wow, okay. Yeah. So, and, uh, and what was the essence of what you spoke about there? Uh, my thesis is in machine learning on multi-relational graphs. So the name uh, is uh, Knowledge Discovery in Multi-relational Graphs. And what was the conclusion? Poof, a lot of good <laughs> conclusions, but... <laughs> Pick one. Uh, that it's really important to think about the complex systems. You know, 
Machine learning is a methodology that allows machines to generate models about the reality. If we have a complex system and we don't understand it, we show examples of the behavior of this complex system to the machine and the machine can understand it by us. Mm. Yeah. I think that we should think about that. For example, in machine learning, we got two kind of models, white box models. They are models who can make a prediction mm -hmm. and give you an explanation mm -hmm. about why they are making this prediction. Black box models, they make a prediction, but they cannot explain to the humans why they make this prediction. Yeah, so see. one conclusion is that the human, we should be more, we should make more effort in white box models because I, I think it's not good just the machine to understand the world. It's good the people to understand the universe. So to use the machine mm -hmm. to get knowledge, mm -hmm. not just to, to sell more or to be more fast, just to get knowledge and to be smarter. Yes, that's what you want. Mm -hmm. That's one of the conclusions that, that yeah. I have achieved during this researching. Okay, good. So and what will you, will you be up to tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow I will be here with you. Oh, okay, yeah, of good. Ex exactly, you of will be course. here at the computing conference. Of course. <laughs> Where else? <laughs> Where else? So thank you so much, thank Pedro. You thank much. you. Thank you for telling us thank about you. that. And you can find uh, other conversations with the experts on YouTube on this channel, SAI Conference. Thanks.